So let's talk about the signature system EDDSA, which is quite similar to ECDSA. So EDDSA needs an elliptic curve again, a generator point G with order N, and a cryptographic hash function. So far, so similar to ECDSA. So the first difference comes in the private key. Now the private key is generated again by taking an n-bit byte string, a random string, t. But then this t is hashed and actually split into two values. So the first half of the bits are stored in k0 and the second half are stored in k1. And there is a public key and a public key is k0 times the standardized generator. So the key pair is k1, uh, k0 and k1 as private key and a as public key. So now if we want to sign the message m, we first calculate an r value again by hashing k1, which is part of the private key, concatenated with m, the message. Then we calculate a point by scalar multiplication of r times g and then we calculate a value sorry this is not a point this is a scalar uh, s by taking r plus the hash of r public key a m times k0 mod n so maybe what you have noticed first is that the equation is simpler, there are fewer steps involved, and we got rid of the nonce, right? So that's good compared to ECDSA. Now, verification. Um, you again, you compute and then check if two points are equivalent and the signature is valid if they actually are. So I encourage you to go th over the equations and find out for yourself why they work and why they are actually correct. Um, so the main advantage of EDDSA, except for being simpler, is that we got rid of the nonce. So we use something like a nonce here, but it's actually part of the private key and it's completely deterministic. So we can't reuse a nonce. Right? We can never accidentally use the same nonce twice for different messages. The nonce is always deterministically computed and therefore cannot be reused.